Welcome uh, to Chicago Founder Stories. We're here for Opening Acts. Opening Acts is where we introduce you to exciting new startups here in Chicago. Uh, I'm lucky to have with us Jay Huffman, the founder of uh, Rocket Miles. Great company. We just invested at Chicago Ventures as part of my full full disclosure here. But uh, great company doing interesting things. Tell us a little bit about what you what you do at Rocket Miles, Jay. Sure. Ro Rocket Miles is a bit of uh, an outgrowth of things that I've done over the course of my career. My first job after I graduated from school was working at one of those big gigantic consulting firms or big gigantic corporations, the byproduct of which was that I was traveling around all the time for work. Uh, I had graduated from Northwestern with, with a fair bit of student debt and wasn't anticipating any real exotic vacations. For a lot of people that were in my shoes, they would fund vacations by using frequent flyer miles or uh, hotel points. I think that's true for a lot of folks that travel around for work. Sometimes they're, they're spending all those days on the road away from their friends and family, and they use all those frequent flyer miles to get on vacation or do oh, something. Yeah, I, am, I am a master of frequent flyer miles. We talked a little bit about that. Uh, later on, I was at Mileage Plus, where I was responsible for the partnership programs at Mileage Plus. Um, those are all the ways you could earn miles without necessarily flying around. That could be uh, renting a car. It could be using a credit card, even shopping or dining at different places. Um, it's amazing how much those motivate people. It's interesting. Yeah, it's, a huge, it's actually a huge economy. Believe it or not, we would, at Mileage Plus, we'd sell a billion dollars worth of miles every year uh, for people that weren't even, weren't even flying around. Um, it's a pretty big part of what keeps big airlines like United Airlines in business. Um, I left uh, Mileage Plus when Groupon was beginning to blow up and was responsible for incubating and building new businesses at Groupon. So I had, I think, first-hand experience for a much more highly merchandised approach to e-commerce. Uh, a lot of what Groupon did was they said, we're going to clear away all the noise of marginally better offers and really focus people's attention on fewer kinds of products, but really magnificent offers and a very, very simple shopping experience. So Rocket Miles is essentially a combination of both of those things. Uh, we sell hotels, and we don't have all of them. The way that Orbitz would have 500 hotels in Chicago instead, we offer a couple of dozen different hotels. But they're really magnificent incentives for each of those hotels. So you're getting 3,000 or 4,000 miles per night. So is that what, so somebody's looking to, 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 uh, to use rocket miles, what's, how do you reach them and what's their, what's, what's, what are you kind of hitting to get them to want to do this versus the other ways like using orbits or whatever? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think we're generally going after the, uh, the business travel segment and it, it's a pretty big market, about $50 billion for hotels alone uh, in the United States alone. Uh, if you talk to anybody who's got a business travel service, it's hard to find anybody who likes what they're using today. The, the consumer side of things has grown up, and there's great services like Hitmonk and Kayak. But on the business travel side of things, it's hard to find anybody who says, gosh, I really, really love American Express corporate travel, or um, I need to be careful. I need to be careful who I, who I point out here. Um, so we, we're basically playing in that space. Even for people who have corporate travel agencies, the majority of hotel bookings don't occur through those corporate travel agencies. We're enabling people to get something when they're traveling for business that they can use in their personal life. So... What would, the, what would the mileage difference be if I were to use Rocket Miles versus what I might get just by using my credit card? Yeah, you know, it's substantial. For, for our customers, they're traveling 6 to 12 times per year. Let's take the high end of that. Somebody who books a hotel with us once a month is earning an extra 60 or 70,000 miles every year. And that's enough for two people to make it down to Florida, which sounds pretty nice having suffered through the winter here, <laughs> here in Chicago. For it sure. also might be a, a first-class ticket to, to someplace like Hawaii. So we're, we're helping people get on vacation faster. In a sense, what we've got is an arbitrage model. It's a, it's a two-sided marketplace. There's a lot of mathematics involved. But from an emotional perspective, we're just trying to get our customers on vacation faster. Great. Well, I see your, uh, I see your advertisements as I'm boarding my flights for United. Yeah. It's the only portfolio company I see like that, so it looks <laughs> like you're doing well. What can you tell us about traction to date? Yeah, when did you start the company again? Uh, we launched publicly in April of last year. So we've only been around, I guess, 10 months. So April so. of 2013. Wow. April of 2013. Yeah. The, uh, and at that point, we were actually here in 1871. So we're, we're proud graduates of 1871. Um, companies like United have been great partners of ours. We've, we've got a commercial relationship with United. But I think that they've also bet on our ability to innovate in the space and have helped us grow more quickly than we could have otherwise done. Chicago's a great place to start a travel company, given that uh, Orbitz is here and Hyatt is here, Groupon Getaways is here. It, it's a pretty good place to, to start a company. From a traction perspective, there's a few different ways to measure that. We've convinced 12 airlines and their frequent flyer programs to be a part of this ecosystem that we're building. 
We've also got over 10,000 hotels that are on our system that are working on the other side of the marketplace. Wow. Uh, from a consumer perspective, we've got um, over 100,000 people who have signed up for the service, uh, all in about 10 months' time. Things are going pretty well. That's fantastic. And how do you get paid? It's a, it's a good question. Um, the, the way that we get paid is uh, somebody buys a hotel from us, and they pay the same price that they would have otherwise paid on Expedia or on Orbitz or Travelocity or anywhere else. We're typically buying the hotel for less than that. So if, if somebody's buying a hotel from us for 200 bucks, we might buy it for 130 or 140 And then we're giving a big chunk of the incentive back to the individual in the form of a, of a currency, in the form of a currency incentive. So we're basically, um, like any other online travel agency, like any other business, I suppose, uh, we're buying the, the product for less than we're selling it for. And we're enabling the hotels. We're providing a great service to the hotels, too, because um, the hotels are able to generate demand without publicly discounting their price. Oh, yeah. uh, I was at the Godfrey Hotel, a, a new great hotel here in River North yesterday that opened in March. Um, actually, they opened in February, about six weeks ago. And it's a beautiful hotel. If, if you guys have people coming to town, the Godfrey's a good place to stay. They're brand new, though, and nobody's heard of them. So they've got lots of rooms that are going unused. It probably won't be that way in a year from now. But for, for the moment, we can help generate extra demand for the Godfrey Hotel without them having to publicly discount the price. And we're also bringing premium customers to them. That's great. Well, I was, I was like, like to ask the last question, you know, what does Rocket Miles want to be when it's grown? What's the big vision for what it could be? Yeah, I think um, we could look at it from the perspective of the hotels or the airline partners or even ourselves, but it's more fun to look at it from the perspective of our consumers. And our goal is to get all of our customers on vacation faster. So if we can enable a few tens of millions of dollars, a few tens of millions of extra vacations for our customers, that would make us pretty happy. That's great. Well, we're proud to have you in Chicago and proud to have you an 1871 graduate. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Jay. Take care.